yes tv and echo media i greet you guys welcome to my channel welcome to the channel of technician channel of business people channel of handyman today i'll be talking to you about receiver satellite receiver for you you are using the you are using dstv this is the latest one and then if you check at the back uh thing have been simplified let's talk about the receiver and then you can see the difference between ordinary receiver and this one okay stay tuned to the end of this video let's share my name is alfonso on dstv installation we always have a receiver we always have a receiver which we call decoder actually the receiver is the one who's gonna allow us to convert those signal of satellite and digital picture and audio so you're going to have in your house a decoder like this one most of the time the decoder come out the same you're going to have at the back of the decoder because the decoder is a device that device will need a power supply to supply the energy to the decoder for the decoder to work. That will be a power supply will come here. Normally, uh, the latest decoder with the manufacturer these days is normally 12 volt. 12 volt DC direct current will go actually here to supply the decoder. Okay. So at the back of the decoder, you're going to notice a component, a place where you can connect your your internet this one in case you you have a decoder who is compatible with internet system so if your internet can work or, or with your decoder you'll be able to put it on this kind of port so you got your right and your left audio so for your sound is here and the yellow one the yellow one as you can see is always the picture so if you are connecting your decoder to a tv via av you're going to use this port you're going to use red and uh, white for your sound and then you're going to use the yellow for your picture okay so now beside that you got this output here which is the hdmi hdmi so when you have a hdmi for you you got a tv compatible with hdmi high definition uh, you can connect your cable of HDMI here to put on your TV. So you can understand now, if your decoder got AV and HDMI, that you mean you have two possibility of connecting this decoder to the TV. Either you use the RCA cable and use the red and white and yellow to connect it to your TV, or you're going to use the HDMI and connect it to your TV. Most of the time, if you have an old model TV who doesn't have an HDMI, you can use your AV and connect it to your TV. But if your TV is an LCD, LED, plasma, uh, which actually use the HDMI port, you can put it on HDMI. The difference is the picture you got on AV is low quality than the picture you got on high definition. So if your TV got high, high definition, uh, port i would advise you to use hd port because it will give you a good quality of picture and good quality of sound so we carry on again if you have watched some of my video you'll notice that at the back we got a port here written 5 volt 500 milliamp 5 volt 500 milliamp it looked like a usb port okay this port we use it to supply we use it to supply a, a, a unit. You can even use it to charge your cell phone. Believe me, if you plug your cable port here and you can charge your cell phone with, but most of the time, this one is to use to supply, supply a modulator because we, we have some decoder today who doesn't have RF out like this one. This one got the RF out. We have some decoder that doesn't have RF out. So we use this port to supply a modulator. We're going to take the signal of AV, modulate it to RF, and then you can put it on many TV. So in case you are using the modulator, you can supply your modulator via this port. Okay. 
we got a RF out, radio frequency out, mean the signal who have been converted by the decoder can come out of RF out. RF out meaning that we can take it to, to the back of the antenna of our TV. So if your decoder got the RF out, from there, you can just take your picture and the sound, go to the back of your TV where you plug the antenna. You're going to have a signal. You're going to have a picture and the, the, the picture and the sound of your decoder. The RF in could be used to connect this type of decoder on S Drive U to set the communication, the heartbeat cable. The RF in also can be used to receive some other signal like terrestrial signal for normal tv and you put it there from via the antenna and then you can get it through rf out so and obviously we got our lmb in which actually the cable coming from the dish coming from the satellite outside always come here the cable coming from the dish coming from the satellite always come here so basically uh you see most of the decoder like this most of the decoder will have a power supply, like I say. Most of the decoder will have an RF out. Most of the decoder, if it doesn't have an RF out, you're gonna get an AV out. Most of the decoder will have your RF in. Some decoder doesn't have an RF in, but it's not a problem today because the technology have made uh, LMB to do the communication on heartbeat on himself. So we got a smart LMB who now do communication between two decoder without need the RF in. Or RF out. So, if you got your decoder, any kind of decoder you 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 got at, at, at in the market now, you must identify the power supply. You must identify your RF RF out. You must identify your LMB in. The first thing is the power supply, your your LMB in, and now you're going to see if you got a HDMI out or you got the AV out or you got the RF out. So on this particular decoder. If you connect this decoder to the satellite, you can get the picture and the sound via your AV. That is first option. The second option, you can get your picture and sound via HDMI. Second option. The third option, you can get your, your, your picture via your RF out. Via your RF, RF out. So with this decoder, you got three options to view your picture and sound. But if you have noticed today, MultiChise and other satellites, other decoder now come out with only one way of viewing your picture. Some come out only with R, uh, HDMI only. Some come out only with AV only. Some will come out without the RF. So most of the decoder these days coming out without the RF. You're gonna find the AV and you'll find the HDMI. Okay. So uh, when you have a decoder, you have to check how many options you have to view your picture via that decoder i repeat the first option you got is via av okay you use the rca cable the second option you have to view your picture and sound is via hdmi cable the third option is via rf out so on this particular decoder we got three options of viewing the picture so now do not panic if you got your decoder and then it doesn't have a rf out if it doesn't have a rf out it might have hdmi out it might have av out so you still have a particularity of getting your picture via av out or hdm out or guys what is inside this decoder what is actually inside let's open the decoder together and then we will see what is inside this decoder i'm going to open you see this decoder actually uh this decoder doesn't have a screw on it even if you open this place you see there's no screws there's no screws there's no screw here so you use something which you're going to remove it like this there's no screw on this uh, particular dstv decoder you're just doing this and then we're going to be able to open the decoder we're going to be able to open the decoder so use something like like a knife and you'll be able to open your decoder 
but I just want to show you what is inside the decoder. I don't think it's actually necessary for you to open. Look, that is your decoder. Can you see what is inside? So let's see exactly what is inside this decoder. So as you can see, all these different parts of, I just uh, explained to you right now. And then you go inside like this like this just like this you got a processor on it who is the center of all the information you send to the receiver with your remote and you got a modulator here who receive the LMB signal who receive the satellite signal convert it to a digital signal and this is a slope where you put your your your, your card your card on it so this slow receive the card and you can still see the button the, 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 the button when you press there yeah so you got an electronic board inside like this and basically most of the component there you cannot replace them so that's why most of the time when the decoder get faulty if it's not a software problem if it's not the power supply call adapter problem uh, if one of these components get damaged, believe me, you, you're not going to be able to use it anymore. You have to purchase yourself another decoder. So you can see you got a electronic board just like this. The motherboard is built just like a computer board for your decoder. So for the Explorer, you'll find inside the Explorer, you'll find inside the high driver. But this one, we got a built-in chips and those built-in chips when they get damaged basically you don't have to fix it we just have to put it away buy another decoder and then when you purchase another decoder you don't need to call a technician when you purchase another decoder you just need to connect them like i explained to you yeah you connect them and you call multi choice for the transfer of your information from the old decoder to the new decoder and they will do the activation in the same time so you really don't need a technician to replace just your decoder you purchase it and you call multi choice okay i still believe that video was grateful for you guys my name is alphonse foco please do subscribe share the video and don't forget to activate the notification bell so that you will not miss my next upload okay guys keep well